All right, CJ, I'm not in the typing mood, so we're going to go through all seven points of how to run a 360i as quick as possible. Which carpet head and why? The three-port brush head. You should only be using the Rotovac on filthy, nasty, matted carpet, and the brush head fluffs it up, prevents streaking, and cleans like the dickens. Cleaning speed as opposed to a wand, wand only with no CRB, I would say it's 30% um, slower, somewhere in there, no less. Pricing, 30% uh, more. Well, you only need to do it in the heavy traffic areas unless you got a complete shit pit, in which case you're going to, yeah, you're definitely going to charge more. Uh, go do a few houses, see how it works with your system, but make the, make sure there's a surcharge over light cleaning. Does using a carpet brush head substitute for using S? Absolutely. No you need for a CRB. Uh, I've done one where I did the CRB first because it was a poly dog hair situation. I was probably wasting my time, but the uh, you'll see if you're using a lint filter of any sort, especially a Devastator with a paint filter, it's going to be, you're going to fill that thing with what looks like watermelons full of sand out there and uh, on the beach. Uh, tile and grout head worth a damn? No, it's not. Pass. Tool maintenance. Uh, pop the spinner head off once a week. Put some anti-seas type of grease on there. Make sure the little felt ring is in good shape. Uh, baby the, the, uh, the operating end. Don't let, don't let your guys bounce it up and down the stairs. Pick it up, it's light enough, it's 38 pounds, and that's about it. Anything else you think of? Uh, rotor extraction in, wand out. Do the, the bad areas, and then wand all your edges, corners, underneath furniture, and light moderate soil on the way out, and you're kind of wand grooming the carpet and giving the rotor extracted areas a second dry pass. There you go, give me a call if you want more.